Welcome to learning about Accessible Computer Labs. We're going to take a look at some essential elements for an accessible lab in K-12 schools, focusing on environment, furniture, hardware, and software. First, you want your lab to be welcoming with staff who are knowledgeable about technologies and how students can use assistive technologies. They should be responsive to students' needs and know which technologies fit with each need. You'll also want to see if students can enter and safely maneuver within the computer lab. It should be wheelchair accessible, including a ramp when necessary, and provide doorway openings and pathways that are at least 32 inches wide. Pathways should be clear of clutter and wires, and important computer lab information should be offered in multiple formats, such as high contrast signs with large print, braille, audio, and electronic text. Finally, you should ensure that computers, printers, scanners, paper, and all other lab materials are physically accessible to all students, even those in wheelchairs. If they're out of reach, they're not usable, and this leads us to furniture. For furniture, you'll want adjustable height tables to accommodate students of varying sizes and in wheelchairs, as well as adjustable height chairs that are comfortable and designed for ease of use. With accessible furniture and hardware comes a price tag. There are two adjustable height tables that I found to work really well in the K-12 computer lab. First, I would provide two to four adjustable height bi-level computer workstations and eight to nine sit-to-stand electric tables that are 72 inches in length to accommodate two children per desk. These table choices assist students with differing motor abilities, students in wheelchairs, and students of varying heights and sizes. Last, the mesh back task chair also assists with heights and supports ergonomic usability. All of these furniture choices were found at school outfitters. For hardware, large screen monitors should be 19 inches or larger for students with vision needs, and mouse alternatives offer students with differing motoring abilities better ways to interact with computers. These include trap balls and joysticks. Next, wireless headsets with noise cancellation serve several purposes. They allow students with motor disabilities to dictate to and control computers hands-free. Students with cognitive disabilities such as autism can focus better with the noise canceling feature, and students with low vision can use screen readers with them to hear parts of the screen they cannot read for themselves. Finally, a combination of Macs and PCs running Windows are chosen for the accessible software that comes with them. Looking at hardware, I would choose 10 Macs and 10 PCs. Macs OS X accessibility and Windows Ease of Access both offer software to accommodate vision, hearing, motor, and cognitive abilities, which we'll talk about a little bit more when we look at the software. Both the iMac and Lenovo come with 21.5 inch monitors, and they can be purchased at Best Buy. The Macs can also be purchased through an Apple store for an additional school discount. Another essential hardware purchase is wireless headsets for each computer station. I found a quality headset by Samswan that includes a detachable mic and works with both Macs and PCs sold at Amazon. Additional hardware for motor disabilities and ergonomic usability include a trap ball, joystick, keyboard, wrist rest, and mouse pad with wrist rest. While the wrist rest and mouth pa mouse pads should be at each computer station, I would purchase two trap balls and two joysticks for the computer lab to use as needed. Also, both of these choices work well with Macs and PCs. Through my search for computer gear, I found that Amazon and Best Buy had a lot to offer with many reviews to look over, and that's where all of these hardware choices came from. For software, I chose a couple of key elements to add to the accessibility features that come with Macs and PCs. One Hand Keyboard Software and Clara Read Plus. One Hand Keyboard Software by Peter Cam for Macs and PCs allow those with the use of one hand or broken arm the chance to more easily interact with a computer using one hand with the QWERTY system. The reason I chose a software option instead of a hard op hardware option for this alternative is because the hardware options are very limited and quite pricey. Also, many are limited to right hand users and ones with left and right hand options are double the price when buying each. Then Clara Read Plus was chosen to offer a more natural text-to-speech reader with scanning and spell check support for students with vision impairments and dyslexia. Next, I want to touch on some capabilities of OS X accessibility on the iMac and Windows Ease of Access on the Lenovo computer choices. Macs OS X accessibility and Windows Ease of Access both have some basics. 
They're just called different things. Here are the matchups. Zoom and magnifier allow users with different vision abilities to make the screen larger, and voiceover and narrator are screen readers for different vision abilities. The on-screen keyboard software gives users with motor disabilities an on-screen keyboard to use with a mouse, and dictation or voice commands allow these users to control the computer with their voice. Finally, Screen Flash and Enabling System Sounds uses visual alerts instead of sound alerts for students with hearing disabilities. And captions provide text captions while listening to or watching multimedia players. There are more options that you can read about in my more in-depth resources provided on my website as well. So here's a look at the price list for the software. One Hand Keyboard is sold by the App Store and downloadable online. OS X Accessibility and Windows Ease of Access come standard with the iMac and Lenovo, and Clara Read Plus is downloadable from the Maker's website for Mac and PC. I want to note that the prices listed for Clara Read Plus are for individual computers if you just need a few computers with this option. Also, your school can purchase the entire software for all computers for about $2,000. Here's the grand total for a new accessible computer lab without taxes and without contacting vendors to provide school discounts. This price is steep, but your lab may already have existing furniture, hardware, and software to add on to. This just gives you an idea of what your computer lab costs and how administrators and teachers must work together to lobby for funding in this area. Thank you.